Hello everybody, welcome back. It's me, Andrew. Yes, it has been quite a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been around, what, six months since I posted a KSP video? And you, that, that, you know, the channel has been inactive for most of the time that I've been away. I did post a short yesterday that got a ton of views, even though it was New Year's Day. I have no idea why. Uh, but today, I'm going to test my skills again after I come back to Kerbal Space Program BD Armory. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. So these are the options that ChatGPT gave me. And the first one that I'm going to decide is Dogfight Derby, because a lot of these, you know, you really can't do ground attack, no. Uh, long range artillery, no underwater, rocket defense, yeah. But the one that makes the most sense is Dogfight Derby. I thought about doing a search and destroy mission as well. Um, but realizing that my current setup gives me 12 frames per second in a 3v3 with a 69 part craft on both sides with very, like, very few countermeasures uh, wouldn't be so good. So I decided we would do a covert ops challenge, which is build a stealth aircraft equipment, BD armory, stealth and surveillance technologies, mission, infiltrate enemy airspace, gather intelligence, and... Yeah, that's pretty much our plan. We're gonna do Dogfight Derby and Covert Ops Challenge. So let's get started with Dogfight Derby. Okay, so I know the challenge specifically stated two grab that you made, but I think that would kind of be obsolete to prove myself. So here I have one of my subscribers, Felix's Craft, uh, which he sent me quite a while ago called the Zort, apparently beat Legilax Trainer, which is a very, very hard thing to do. I can tell you from experience. Um, yeah, so this is the craft that I'm going to be trying to beat today, and then after that I could probably say that, yeah, I could design a pretty good fighter aircraft. So, that's what we're going to build, something to beat the Zort. Okay, so this is the beat the Zort. I decided to use the basis of the Zort itself, uh, but then decided against it to try to make my own craft. It's going to use two Gal 22s as his main weaponry, it's gonna have a tail fin. I think, uh, I was thinking about having forward sweat wings, but after uh, tinkering around with it a bit, I decided that, you know, it wasn't really worth it. You'll see me switch that in a, in a while, but as of now, I'm still trying to go with the forward sweat wing because it just looks cool, you know? Like a Su-47 like Su style. Uh, I decided I also wanted some prongs on the front of the aircraft, which also made it shift the center will live way too far forward no matter what I did. So I decided to just switch the wing setup and move around the fuel a bit and then use these uh, elevons to move the center of lift back more. And I also decided to add a radar because I realized that this sort also has radar missiles and I didn't want this to be lagging behind. Added a bunch of missiles to the beat Zort and yeah, it was pretty much ready for a test flight after I set up all these action groups. But I decided to add the AI pilot controller weapon manager first as well. Uh, I, I'm gonna put a blind tune on this thing. Considering he's using GAL 22s, it's probably not going to undershoot since they're very high fast projectiles. Uh, and this is the loading screen for the test flight. Yeah, here we are. That lightning gear needs some work. It takes off pretty nicely. Uh, it, it doesn't really turn as quickly as you would expect when the center of lift is so close to the aircraft, but, you know, after a not so good landing, I decided to spawn the craft in. Okay, here we are on the runway with my beat Zort versus the actual Zort. Uh, let's see how this fight goes. Okay. A competition starts. The Zort's going for the AMRAMs. I set these up for four missiles per target. How can I use them to fire while they're AMRAMs? They should have by half. Uh, doesn't really matter. They're still gonna do pretty well. I, oh. Let's see this one. How about this? 425 Tornet. Okay, yeah, they're all are they're all diving. Oh, well, the Zorts are using their yeah. They haven't used any of their AMRAMs. They're, they're using their I don't think there's, which is interesting. I think that might give my craft the edge that it needs because the Zorts will be laden with AMRAMs, which are the pretty much the heaviest air to air in the Soaring game, if not counting the Pack Three. So 
yeah, they're gonna be laden with those missiles. So I think in a dogfight, these will come out on top, but then again, you never know. Because apparently this thing beat Legged Black's trainer, which I, I, from experience, I know how, how long it takes to design a craft like that to be able to beat such a well-known and respected member of the community. This beat lining up uh, Sidewinder can't really launch it. Oh yeah, there we go. The, the really close range Sidewinder, I think that might actually hit it. Oh no, it flares just in time. How about this beat? This beat, uh, oh, almost, almost a joust there. I don't think that was... Oh, the beat sort is... Doing something, where? Oh, whoa. 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 Okay, that, this thing just somehow dodged like 10 minutes. What is that? Okay, a little bit of an editorial oversight. Uh, the, the beat Zorts have no countermeasures. They, they somehow beat the Zorts without countermeasures. Yeah, that is a Zort. That is a Zort that is heavily damaged. Oh, that, that beat Zort is gone. Oh, that Zort is gone. Fires a missile at another Zort. Oh, it, oh, oh wait, this might actually, oh, they're lining up guns. Oh, that's it. That's it. There's only one Zort left and it, it, it's, it's been obliterated. Okay. Um, that, that was quick. That was very quick. Once it got to the close range, you know, those extra missiles really did, you know, put the nail in the coffin for the Zorts. I think these are pretty reliable craft. Uh, I, I, I'm very proud of their performance in this fight. Um, I did it, I usually would suspect that Minecraft would not stand a chance. And going in with a blind tune wasn't really that good of an idea ever. I'm just gonna switch teams. Uh, that wasn't really a good idea either, considering that, you know, you don't really know what your crap means if you're in a test flight. But, you know, since Felix didn't tune his, okay, head on monster, okay. But since Felix didn't tune his Zord, I just thought, you know, I, I, I wanna do this, but wanna keep it a little bit more fair as well, so. Okay, so we're gonna build our stealth surveillance aircraft. I'm going to start with a J20 cockpit. So yeah, let's just start speeding this up. Okay, so this is the speed build for the eye. So I thought about making kind of like a YouTube style thing, but then I read the description more carefully and it said that you cannot be like detected and like you cannot be shot at by enemy air defenses which means that I'm also going to have to make air defense systems. Uh, I already have a couple that I made before I left, but sadly the save file filled with every single craft I had uh, before this one and before this new save, um, it's gone. The, uh, the one, the drone that was in some of my other videos is gone. Uh, the, the K20, or the, I forgot what other craft I had, but if you see, uh, yeah, the K-14 kite, gone. AACC Widow, gone. The entire save file is gone. So I literally cannot do anything about that. So I just started this new save and we're gonna start fresh. I wasn't really happy with that save file because it has so many uh, obsolete aircraft, like my first BDR where we plane that used, that when I, this, that, that was back when I used to think ground attack missiles were air-to-air -air missiles, so you know how long ago that was, considering how far I've come in terms of fighter design. Uh, yeah, this is the first test flight for the eye, by the way. Doesn't go very well, but yeah, I don't even have action group set up for it. It barely pitches at all. That's gonna be an issue if we want to somehow, you know, get turned around quickly. Uh, the, the pods work. I bought the pods work pretty well, so... Yeah, that, that's one thing. That's definitely one thing. Uh, but other than that, it, it, there's really not much appeal to this craft besides its stealth, which, you know, by, by in itself is also pretty subpar. But yeah, here we are coming in for a landing. It's also very hard to land, and I'm sorry for the glitchy footage, if you're seeing glitchy footage. That's why I'm seeing my preview monitor right now. But yeah, 
So we're going to have to add some other control surfaces to make sure that I can pitch better. Just add at least telefins and let's get started with the scenario. So I have done the test of the eyes stealth against the TWS locking radar that these two SAM units have, especially the goalkeeper unit. Uh, it can lock this thing at around four kilometers. So I'm going to try and climb till around five and a half kilometers. That should be a pretty safe distance away. So yeah, let's do that. Turn off the brakes. Yeah, also the brakes are like really weak on this thing. So you really don't want to be landing on anything else besides the runway. And even then it's a little bit of a hit and miss kind of luck based thing. Okay, I see them. Oh wait, I haven't turned on their guard mode. Okay, we're going to send to GPS. Send GPS. And quickly send GPS. And we're out of here. Yep, they cannot lock on. They they just they just somehow locked on and they're not firing. Nope, the goalkeeper can't lock on. This thing can, somehow. But you know, that's whatever. Oh, we're almost at Mach 2. Okay, um, I'm going to cut these engines. Uh, we're, we're, I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing now because uh, turning this thing around is such a pain. It's going to be able to pitch back up again. Yeah, try dodging that. Exactly. And if you have not noticed, yes, I have an F-16 GR, which is ready. It is, these are all laser guided, which is, you know, not that great. But uh, when I first came back to KSP and I was just playing around a bit by myself, I made an airfare version. It is just, it absolutely destroyed everything else I made. I don't know how or why, but Okay, once we get around five kilometers of range, I'm gonna turn on the CIWS. Oh. And they have the Hellfire selected. LR. Okay, the moment the Phoenix CIWS sees anything, yep, yep, missiles coming. It's gonna, I'm gonna turn on guard mode. Uh, it's launching its Mavericks, even though they're out of range at this point. And the, it's turning away now. Oh, yep, that completely destroyed. Now now it's engaging the Viper. The Viper is trying to run away, get out of range of the guns, but I don't know when that will be. It, it's still plenty in range, and I think... Yeah. Yeah, it says the goalkeeper moves when it fires, it's also going to be a harder target. Yep, two bombs away. Yeah, it's only engaging the Viper now. Uh, ooh. It's doing, it's still engaging the Viper. Where are the bombs? Oh, they're coming. Oh yeah, they're coming. Yeah, it's, it's a little too late for you to be... Oh wait, what? Oh, the goalkeeper was able to snipe one, but it wasn't, it was able to snipe one bomb, but it wasn't enough. The other bomb took care of it. Okay, so mission success. I am still worthy of Kerbal Space Program. BDR rate, do not underestimate me ever again. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I've uploaded, blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But trust me, the videos are gonna get more crazy and crazier from here. And yeah, I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, because I heard that's what YouTubers say. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be back with some more content soon, um, but until then, see you next time.